Hello berries and welcome to uh, another tutorial uh, this time about one of my favorite killers uh, the cannibal or some of you know him as Letterface some of you know him as Bubba now I know what you guys might be thinking oh god not this killer and that is exactly the reason why I decided to make Bubba my second killer that I'm going to make a tutorial about him the problem with Bubba is that uh, a lot of players play him in a very campy fashion that is kind of both boring for the person who's hooked, who's never going to get saved, and both for Baba, who's gonna have to stay in place and not move, and both for other players that are just focusing gens in order to escape. This type of gameplay is more common, unfortunately, than traditionally normally playing the cannibal. The Cannibal is a very, very strong killer, and it's such a shame that people play him in a tedious fashion. I ha I was, a, like, playing today, in my spare time, I have, like, five matches. None of those Bubba's have the s had the slightest idea what to do, and in all five matches, they either uh, camped from the start or did it towards the end because they were not able to play normally. Bubba does require skill. And uh, not a high uh, s skill cap, but he does require a little bit of practice and knowledge. So with that all said and done, let's go over uh, Baba's fundamentals and see how, how it is best to play him, even in red ranks. The Cannibal has basic attributes all around. You see these uh, attributes on a lot of killers like uh, Trapper, the Doctor and many others. He's got 32 meter radius, 4.6 speed, also known as 115%, and he's a tall killer. Bubba's special power is his chainsaw. When Bubba fully revs his chainsaw and unleashes it successfully, Bubba can uh, run at a, a faster rate while flailing his chainsaw left and right. And uh, if he catches any survivors with his chainsaw and hits them, that survivor, even if he was healthy, will get insta-downed. Now, t in order to prolong the amount of time you can run with your chainsaw, you gotta keep pressing the, uh, the power uh, button uh, for PC players, that's uh, right mouse button. Each time the red bar is about to end. That way you can run for longer with your chainsaw. The more charges you use of your chainsaw the longer it takes you to recover in case you do miss the survivor essentially you get a longer cooldown if you do not hit any um, any survivor bodies if you end up uh, hitting a wall an object a barrel a tree Baba will enter a tantrum the tantrum is longer the more stacks of, of charges you've wasted, thus making the tantrum longer and might hinder you uh, mid-chase. The tantrum is sort of like a stun. The only difference between a tantrum and a regular stun is that during a tantrum Bubba is flailing his chainsaw in a cr uh, crazy way, and if any survivors are caught in this tantrum while Baba cannot move, they still get insta down. Another thing that is very important to uh, point out about Baba's chain, about Baba's uh, run after he unleashes his chainsaw, Baba is in actual full control of his maneuverability. He's able to go forward, diagonally, left, right, and even backwards after he unleashed his chainsaw. This is an amazing ability and you should acknowledge this on higher ranks in order to perform very quality uh, mind games. When Baba revs his chainsaw, it takes him two and a half seconds from start to finish until he unleashes it. If you are not yet ready to unleash your chainsaw, you can keep holding it slightly charged or halfway charged, but be careful. If you are revving your chainsaw for too long, Bubba will enter a tantrum even if you do not hit anything in your environment. 
This was created to um, to punish uh, c camping with a revved up uh, chainsaw, as uh, a lot of babas uh, tend to do before the rework. So now that we have covered the basics, let's move on to the teachables. His perks are quite nice, uh, you usually see two of them being used quite often, even on red ranks, but let's go over uh, all of them. Knockout. Knockout is uh, an interesting ability. When you down a survivor with a basic attack, that survivor cannot be seen by his teammates uh, unless they're 16 meters close to him. It's sort of like a slugging ability. But can only be used with a basic attack, I repeat. A survivor that is down on the ground is slightly deafened, so he cannot hear his environment really well, and he crawls 50% slower for 15 seconds. Barbecue and Chili, which is probably one of the most common perks. You see this perk uh, being run on a lot of killers. Um, for each time you hook a survivor for the first time, you receive a stack. Each stack increases the total amount of blood points you get at the end of the game by 25%. So let's say I hooked all of the survivors once, the amount of blood points I get towards the end of the game is, t is uh, doubled, for example. And uh, when, it c when it comes to gameplay, you are able to see, after you hook someone, you are able to see his his friends, his other teammates, that are uh, 40 meters uh, farther from the hook. 40 or above. You'll see their aura for like 4 seconds. Franklin's Demise. Franklin's Demise is another ability that can only be used with your basic attack. Uh, smacking a survivor with a basic attack will make them drop their item. And if the survivor does not pick that item in the next... Let's see here, wait a second. In the next... <laughs> in the next 90 seconds... Then... That item will be consumed by the entity and will be permanently removed from the trial. As Baba, you can see that item on the ground from the distance of 32 meters with a white aura. The aura of the items will uh, grow redder and redder the more closer it is to disappear. So, this is Bubba. <laughs> now what perks are uh, good on Bubba? Well, Bubba has a, a chainsaw that can insta-down, so you don't really need to rely on insta-down perks all that much. Uh, he struggles with windows quite a lot. Uh, so Because he needs to rev his chainsaw, and by that time a survivor will vault the window before your chainsaw is even fully uh, revved up. So it's no big secret that one of that Letterface's strongest chasing perk is uh, Bamboozle. You don't really need brutal strength or a because uh, Bubba's chainsaw uh, can chew through pallets, and it does so rather quickly. This is my personal favorite build. I don't even need, feel like I need to use more than the uh, gray offerings, as Bubba is pretty plenty potent without it. Just uh, some random gen defense perks and uh, another information perk. That's about it. You just need information perks uh, and slowdown perks. And if you're feeling up to it, maybe Spirit Fury Enduring or Bamboozle. But let's say you only have Bubba and uh, Base Kit Killers. Let's say you only have them. What would you run on Bubba? Okay. So, perk number one that I would re hardly recommend on Baba is Enduring. Enduring is a good perk. Uh, a lot of times survivors will try to stun you to uh, with the pallet. So you, uh, you will not be able to charge your chainsaw in time. So to be able to recover quickly from a, chain, uh, a pallet dropping on you and quickly rev your chainsaw to destroy that pallet is a, an amazing ability. Plus, it might catch a, a few survivors off guard, and that's always nice. You don't need brutal strength, your chainsaw will do all, the, all of the work. Barbecue and chili, amazing, amazing aura reading perk. 
It's Leatherface's own perk, so feel free to use it. <coughs> I have run it on him plenty, plenty, uh, plenty of times. And uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Unfortunately, uh, the slowdown perks uh, th that are required in red ranks are uh, Hex Ruin and Corrupt and uh, Pop Goes. Those perks are not accessible unless you've unlocked certain killers. This could potentially be a nice build. Whispers will give you information if anybody is uh, in your terror radius. Um, <clears throat> Barbecue can give you information about survivors that are relatively far away. If you are not able to d uh, insta down survivor, you can at the very least squeeze a basic attack hit and uh, slow down their he healing. While we wait for a match, I think it is good uh, to cover a few uh, basic ideas and concepts when it comes to Bubba. A lot of times, especially in lower ranks, you will encounter survivors that are hiding in tight corners. If you are able to body block them with your own uh, character's collision, uh, do not basic attack them. Basic attacking a survivor makes you lose collision and a survivor can pass right towards you. Instead, try to rev a chainsaw from point blank and you will get an immediate insta down while the survivor is fully incapacitated. Beginner players, especially players that do not have the perk bamboozle uh, should try to rely on body blocking the window with uh, letter faces collision even half of the window is enough so long as the survivor cannot get uh, th through that window and you can rev the chainsaw and down them when you're playing around a uh, survivor that's looping you he will attempt to jump into a locker to prevent getting hit by a chainsaw do not be shy to tantrum and smack with your chainsaw into the locker uh, the survivor will need to guess when your tantrum ends and that might uh, get him uh, downed by the tantrum of the chainsaw. Even if he does uh, act patiently and is able to await all of your tantrum, the second he jumps out of the locker, just press left mouse button to grab them. It is almost impossible to... Uh, evade both the the chainsaw both the tantrum and both the grab mm -hmm. okay we're on rotten fields Jesus. Horrible, horrible map. And I'll probably get my ass whooped here, but uh, let's give it a shot. Whispers off, whispers on. There should be someone uh, around here. Right on. Amazing. I have no idea why I didn't go left of the pallet, but this worked out perfectly for us. Which killer can get such a quick down, man? Hello, David. Nice, let's get this pallet out of the way. Nice. That David will stay on the ground a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's go cause some carnage. You do not want to be doing this shit. There I go. And let's go hook the Nancy. You saw that? I got a tantrum for smacking into that window, but it was totally worth it. I got the down. I'm gonna try to hook this girl purposely a little farther, so I'll get my uh, my information with barbecue. The two of them are healing. This girl is absolutely fucked. I have no idea what she's doing. 
Nice. Those guys cannot heal for long. If they will heal, it's me just getting more information and more pressure. I have two survivors hooked in almost in the same location. Yep, yep, yep. They're still healing. Humongous waste of time. Look at this, man. Hardly any fucking gens are done because I'm s finishing chases ever so quickly, man. This is what Bubba is all about. Hello, David. I heard his footsteps in the grass. Ah, uh, he's gonna get through that window. Not much you can do. Let's basic attack him. Apply Slavic Butcher. Nice. A little bit of a mind game hit my red light, yeah? In these places, you can't you can mind game because these are low walls, yeah? This is great, this is perfect. I absolutely have no idea where they went. I think... Yeah, they went over here. Oh! Dwight, fuck off! If uh, a survivor is standing here, always approach from this direction. That's uh, the only way to hit them. Although it looks farther, that's the only way that the hitbox works. Let's hook this guy. Don't mind me hooking them on uh, different hooks, it's just I'm trying to get points with the Lunar. Nobody came to save David, I absolutely have no idea why. They did save the Dwight. No idea why they didn't go for the David, I was bu uh, too busy with the Dwight. I think they I counted on the Dwight to go for the save and it didn't work out. There's blood here. Do not try to go for the chainsaw rev here, because the second the survivor sees that you're revving the chainsaw, he can just vault the window, and you will not be able to rev it in time. So, in those tight corners and crevices with a lot of pallets and windows, just try to go for the basic attack. Of course, wait just a little bit, squeeze out a potential dead heart. If she was healthy, the best course of action would have been for me to body block the window and then uh, chainsaw her face off. Blood, 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 blood. Yep. Sorry, Fengi. I, I didn't actually want to go for her. I am so, so, so sorry. Ah! Oh, hey, Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. Please! Immediate recovery, thanks to Enduring. Woo! Look at that Enduring value, baby. Look at that Enduring value. I heard somebody fuck up something here. Probably a skill check. Up, up, up. Body blocker into the corner? There you go. GG, well fucking played. Now you tell me if Baba is needs ki to camp or to tunnel. Look at this. Not for a single second I needed anything of that. They healed for ages. I got information with barbecue, got information with whispers. Beautiful. But for the most part, it's gameplay. Knowledge on how to maneuver Baba in the right way. It's extremely lucky to have the hatch spawn here. <laughs> I heard Fang for a second. There she is. Uh, 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 
See? If this build can potentially work on rotten fields, man, on red ranks, with five gens left, bruh. These perks are very, very decent for lower ranks. I do not recommend these perks for higher ranks. Uh, against, like, really meta teams, you will need something stronger. But there you go, man. Look at that beautiful result. Yeah, see? That's proof I'm rank one. There you go. Oh, shit. <laughs> they were not, but you see? How this build can you, uh, service you? When it comes to advanced techniques, there aren't that many. Uh, for the most part, it's just uh, you improving uh, yourself, you learning distances of uh, how fast you can travel with the with certain add-ons, how long can you rev your chainsaw with certain add-ons, and that's about it. There are two perks that Baba can uh, can sort of counter if uh, performed correctly. Baba can counter the perks Sprint Burst and Borrow Time very efficiently. The thing is, when someone removes a survivor from the hook, that person will receive the Endurance status effect for 15 seconds. Baba is able to go through that Borrow Time effect and continue his chainsaw run, and then getting another hit on that person, thus like hitting him twice and still... Um, managing to down that person so one time you will hit that person and waste uh, his endurance status effect and another time you'll hit him and down him that's a nice way of uh, applying pressure downing uh, the rescuer the and the rescued person even if he has borrowed time it's not it's easier said than done but it is possible another per uh, and another example of perk that baba can counter if a survivor is sprinting away with sprint burst and you did not anticipate it in a straight line, Baba can actually reach the person who just sprint bursted away. The, the thing is that a lot of survivors tend to wait for the killer to approach them, only to sprint burst at that given moment. Not many survivors actually know that Baba, how long Baba's chainsaw run is. So they end up run, running out of Sprint Burst and uh, Baba is still able to, uh, by using all three of his charges, actually get that survivor, despite their Sprint Burst. So, unless if that Sprint Burst is backed up by a window or a pallet, you will most likely get that survivor. Um, well, that's about it. Th those are my uh, only two tips and... Those two perks are really common, if you think about it. Those two perks, you see them a lot, even on red ranks. Those are some very heavy perks that survivors can carry, and Bubba can go around them better than a lot of other killers can. So, I've shown you, I've uh, explained to you guys the fundamentals of the game, of uh, Bubba's power. I've showed you how a, a build uh, for beginners, I've shown you a build of... Uh, Adept players, and I've explained to you how to counter uh, some of the more common perks that are seen on red ranks, especially. I think that uh, that about cover that about covers it. For the most part, Baba will take a little bit of practice, a bit of time to get used to. But I assure you, the moment you will take all of uh, all of what I said into consideration, and with a little bit of time, you will become one of the strongest Baba players if you just learn the distances, learn the hitbox ratios you will be able to get very very nasty hits or uh, grind pallets to a dust and make the game more difficult later on So this is the optimal build for Baba, the build that I constantly use to win, even in red ranks. I got all farthest gens blocked, so we can just scatter around the gens in the center. 
and look for any and all survivor activity. The chances for survivors to pile up on the gens right now are is increased because there's fewer gens. As you can see, he's stuck in the corner and she cannot leave. That is the body blocking I'm talking about. I have no idea what this call is doing. Very silly. We got two downs even before any gins were done. Look at that. And I'm playing currently on one of the older maps where the looping is still very, very survivor sided. Look at this. Look how much we were able to do, and they barely got anything done on their end. Interesting. Another pallet gone. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose that much distance thanks to Bamboozle. Ill advised. Another pallet destroyed. Always take a step back. Always. Okay, game. Okay. I'm impressed. Oh my lord. Okay, something is not right here. But okay. It keeps freezing up for some reason. Mm. She's looping me around the god loop. No one to leave them. Don't come into chases that seem like nigh impossible. Another the chainsaw, which is essentially like a fake. And that's it, another pallet is gone. Just like that. Just like that, man. I apparently tantrumed on something that I can't even see. Bad idea. They're both looping me here. I'll block this window. They can go for the slug. Deadard, squeezed it out of her. Perfect. Let's break this pallet too. Deadard, squeezed it out of her. Nice. Yeah, this girl is a bit uh, laggy. I don't think my connection with her is the best. But look how many hooks we've got, how many pallets we have destroyed, how much carnage we've made just because of the fact that we have this chainsaw. Let's kick this gin. Get this progress out of the way, shave it off.
that's how you kick ass as Bubba. Look at this results, man. When you're not playing on fucking Hatted Field. Apparently I tunneled. <laughs> Look how efficient I am, man. pal destroyed let's get it out of the way there is the discordance information there somebody's doing our gins and we will go and assert dominance because what are you a-holes going to do Estimating a Baba, very stupid idea. I'm not going to that side of the map, you can fuck off, man. I'm going for this Claudette. She's got absolutely nothing in this area. After we fat shamed. One pallet. Okay, now what? Not a pal destroyed. Oh man, not a pal. I have no fear. We have the cure. You greedy bitch. Let's pick her up and hook her. Way to keep working on the gen I already kicked. Let's get 25 more percent off of this gen. I'm gonna go for this claw. She's got absolutely nothing in this area. Starting to fucking piss me off. They're starting to piss me off. Let's get this shit progress out of the way. Pick this girl up and put her on the hook. Look how many hooks we got, man. Look at that hook counter down there, baby. And we're still at four gens, yeah? I'm okay with losing that gen. She's got DS. Because I tunneled. Mm -hmm. Very aggressively too. They're doing gens like mice at this point because they're fucking scared. I hit the girl on the hook, I'm able to recover from my chainsaw attack much much faster. There we go. Dead. Kick his chin a little bit more.
Bubba with the right perks, man, is a fucking monster. Decisive. No. She probably missed it. Bro, they got dominated so bad. If uh, two of them are gonna escape, it's only gonna be because of a key now. Yep. He doesn't have a key. At this point, I would have really wanted to have barbecue. And now I'm gonna face camp this girl because they brought a key and if uh, she removed this girl up from the hook, then... Oh! Okay. I was thinking they were gonna escape through the hatch. No sweat, man. She had no idea where I was coming from. GG, well played. And that's how you win on the red ranks. You got prove thyself. You got three dead hearts. You got two decisives, two unbreakables. One of these unbreakables is mashed with this decisive. You got iron will, you got two... Uh, Two borrowed times, a key, and still we kicked ass. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this tutorial uh, somewhat uh, was helpful. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next time.